Ooh, he's pretty. I like. <laughs> Hello, 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 oh yes, 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 it is Friday, it is the midday talk at a God FM, bringing the gospel nearer to you, and I'm your host, of course, Unua Visa, and I'm not alone, today in studio, we are bringing back Uzipo Ezile Nguinge in studio, and uh, today we're talking, we're continuing our conversation about the unchurched, and most importantly, I want to tap into what she actually does and more about her life Unchan. i'm good how are you I'm apart good. from the cold oh it's cold <laughs> <laughs> it's cold it's really cold i'm wearing dukes today i do i don't know what's happening but okay my my ears are cold if you are in Kabeha, guys i hope you're warm i hope we, i just heard but there's uh there's a bit of sunshine outside there's a bit of sun you know gibbs yeah. Krebs is, yeah. Four seasons in one day. Eh? Every, every single time. <laughs> Four seasons in one every day. We season. are live. Hey, we live on Facebook. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. Um, uh, We are live on our Facebook platform. That is Agape FM. And uh, if you've got any questions or comments, please do give us a shout out at 063-078-1618. No, that is a wrong number. <laughs> That is the wrong number. It is 69 Let me repeat that for you. It is 69 for all your questions. And uh, most importantly, for your comments as well, we are reading that alive. Let me just say, today is not a conversation. Today is not an interview. Mm -hmm. We're having a conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm being schooled today. I want to know what... No, we're having a conversation. <laughs> so we're schooling each other today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, I always say this, right? Um, when we, I'm coming into a conversation with anybody, yeah. right? I want to bring my, my cup of glass half filled. Mm -hmm. So that when I, when I walk out, I know something new and it's always filled. Always willing to receive. You know? yeah. yeah. So that's what we're doing today. Hey, that's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to say... Please do bring in your notepads and your pens and a glass of water or a cup of coffee because it is cold. <laughs> and uh, we are live so you can drop your comments on our Facebook platform or just WhatsApp us on that number. Oh, do you have any shout outs today? Do I? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> do I? Okay, so I think the first shout out would obviously be to our Santa youth, mm. Santa Leo G. Everyone who's listening, hi guys. And um, oh gosh, I don't think my kids and my family's listening. So, <laughs> anyway, if you do happen to be listening, hey, children. hey, everybody, <laughs> <laughs> and yes, hello to everybody who's tuning in on live. Um, thank you, much appreciated as well. Like, I always do, always read the bio first, I should know who we're talking to and what she's all about. And today is no different. My guest today is Zipo Ezi, the founder of Beautifully Messy and Journal Talks. Um, she is an aspiring writer and a businesswoman, a spoken word poet, founder of Beautifully Messy and Journal Talks. She is a proud mother of two and a minister called to preach to the neglected societies and communities. Right. So this is what is going to happen, right? I'm mm. going to ask you about, um, we've got four points here. Pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Because you mentioned so many things. There's a spoken word. Mm. You are a performing artist in mm. my, you know. And then there's a lot of things. That was the introduction. Mm. But how would you introduce yourself besides those things? Gosh. Am I in an interview? <laughs> you know, an interview? I feel like I'm in that place where they ask you, please tell us about please yourself. Please tell us about yourself. And you're like, well. <laughs> um, I think I'm just a, a lover of life. Mm. Um, I love life. I love people. Mm. Mm. Um, I love serving people. Wonderful. Um, I've gotten to a place in my life where... You know, when you're constantly serving, mm. um, you, you, you instantly get to a place where you need to now recollect yourself and say, okay, I've been giving so much that I've Ooh. neglected myself. Mm. So now I'm in the space, and I wrote this on Facebook, that I said, I'm in a stage, and my stage right now is called blooming. Mm. 
Mm. And you know when you bloom as a flower, a flower has no option. When it's time to bloom, you bloom and you're going to be noticed sure. and you're going to be in people's faces. Sure, so sure. that's where I'm at right now because I feel like I've been doing all that. Now it's time for you to... She actually blew. Mm. So. Mm. Hey, she's blooming. She's blooming. <laughs> it, it's a process. Hey, it's a process. It is a process. And uh, th- congratulations on that. Hey, yeah. for actually going into that phase. It takes so many people a lifetime to actually mm-hmm. bloom. But uh, here you recognize that yourself. And yeah. yes, we also recognize that too. <laughs> we recognize that too. Beautifully messy. Yeah. Two words that contradict each other. Mm-hmm. Yet they, ma- I don't know why they make, make they make sense, but they make, make sense, sense, right? What? How did you come up with this name? Um, simple. I am a beautiful young lady that is made out of a heap of mess. Whew, again. So I I think it was just recollecting, and it's a it's a name that I think any woman, any mm. person can actually kind of. Um, relate to because yeah. we all have mm-hmm. our past sure we all have our our mistakes and whatever it is that you you struggle with mm. but then eventually you get to a point where you understand why you had to go through some mm. kind of struggles in your life and you look at the person that you are becoming mm-hmm. so um i think that's 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 just it it was like we all go through this we all go through this so i was like okay i'm beautiful in fact, before that, I wanted to do it and name it Imperfect Perfection, but I was like, ah, oh, it's too long. So oh, it's too long. But it, it, this, it really makes sense. Yeah, well, it, so. They make sense. A contradiction, yes, but it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Beautifully Messy, what do you guys do? Well, so Beautifully Messy, um, ooh, when I remember the time I actually gave birth to that, I was going through a lot. Mm. I was going through a lot and um, I think it was going to be a platform for me, also um, a journey through my healing. Okay. But then I had to stop because if you've noticed, there, there's like a huge gap. True. Yeah, um, I saw that. I had to stop because there are times where you have to go back to the Holy Spirit and like, okay, God, um, this is where I'm mm. at now. And he will be the one to whisper to you like, hey, girl, it's a good idea, but not the time right now. You, you need to deal with whatever it is that you're facing before you can even stand before people and mm. saying, look, we're having a platform where you can heal. Are you healed first? Mm. You know, are you mm. healed? Because you don't want to be in a space where you outpour your bitterness or your anger or mm. your hurt or your pain into other people that are also seeking the, the restoration that you want in your mm. life. So I was like, okay, let me t- take a step back. But it's not something that has died down. Because it's a platform that intentionally I created to say, woman, you need to heal. Mm-hmm. Um, not just woman. Um, it, it, it's a platform where men are also open to come okay. and, and speak and have open conversations with women. Because I feel like many of the times we focus so much on ourselves that we actually neglect the males mm. that are in our lives. And we are sometimes in the situations that we are in because they are also involved in oh. it. So nice. why not have people that can come and say, okay, we're listening as men, but you also need to listen to us. Mm. So, yeah. All right. Let me, let me just tell back here. <laughs> you're saying that uh, when you took a break, right, you wanted to understand, you wanted to know if you heal, you wanted that process of healing, mm-hmm. right? And it still, ha- it still not has died down as yet, mm-hmm. right? Now, w- while you were going through that process, mm-hmm. how did you know that now I need to stop. There's, there's a, oh, I always reflect. There's a word that says, um, I think God is speaking to, to Solomon. Mm. But it says um, in the book of Samuel, it says, obedience is better than sacrifice. Oh. Right? And then it says, attentiveness is better than a fat ram. So no matter what you can bring to me mm. to come and, and, and offer to God, but if I'm not attentive, then I've lost it. If I'm not obedient, I've lost it, right? Okay. So I've grown to be in a part where I always say be in tune with mm. yourself. 
be so in tune with yourself that you sometimes become your biggest critic. And that Ooh. works for you, but it also works against you. But I think there's a thin line there, mm -hmm. you know, that you need to always identify. I'm a person who, in my introvertedness, I learn to have conversations that are real with myself before I can even go to anyone else mm. and ask them to, to have a real conversation. I become real with me. So I think it became an easy journey for me when it comes to my relationship with God and the Holy Spirit to know and be mm. obedient when he's like, no. Mm. Mm. Okay. It, it's it's heated, hey? <laughs> I understand what you're saying, and uh, you you okay? Let me, let me let me do this, right? Let's let's do this. Okay, so now you went back and uh, you you wanted you listened to God mm -hmm. and what He wanted for your life. Mm -hmm. What's happening now? What now? Um, restoration doesn't happen overnight. True. Um, uh, you you. Many of us right, don't want to get to a point of facing the skeletons in our closet. Oh, right? okay. So restoration comes with a forced part where you really need to face those things that you have placed in your subconscious mm. for so long. And some of them, I've had moments where some of them are like a woo-ha moment. Oh, oh, I have that? Mm. You know, I didn't know I had that. I don't know that it consisted in me. So from there till now, it's been an ongoing process. Sometimes easy mm -hmm. and sometimes not easy. You placed in situations and platforms that force you to look deep within yourself each and every time at every angle of your life. If, am I fine? Do I have the patience? Do I have, mm -hmm. it's like my father used to always say, if you're praying for patience, know that you're going to have a situation that will be brought to you to test the patience that you are praying for. Right? True. So you're praying mm. for restoration in your life. So you're going to have situations that are going to test you to see if are you really restored? Mm. Are you really complete? Because I think my goal is to become whole mm. before I can even stand and pour on to any other person. Become whole. But it doesn't mean that throughout the process, God is not going to use you to minister to those and those kind mm, of people because mm. it's still a way and journey with God. A journey with God. Uh, we are tuning in with Ozi Pwezi Shen Nong, our beautifully messy. And uh, we're speaking restoration today. We're speaking the journey. We're speaking um, how to know when... Uh, when you need to actually step back mm -hmm. because uh you know you know i'm um, pouring in pouring out something that's negative to somebody else is just a mess eh? yeah it's just a mess um now we're speaking um you also we, we touched on uh your your your, your christianity now last week mm -hmm. right how you became this uh this wonderful person that you are today did you know on the very first day that I'm not gonna say the very first day of your life because you don't remember anything. Yeah. <laughs> no. but, but when you actually were brought in, you you know when you become older and older and you realize things about yourself, your body, your spirituality, you know everything. Did you know that, uh, or did you assume that maybe today you'd be the woman that you are today? No. <laughs> okay. No, no, I don't think there's. I actually, it's funny, I had this conversation the other day and I said, many of the times people will come to you like, um, you shouldn't be acting like this if you're cold. Mm -hmm. you know? And you, you, you literally sit there, especially as a young person, and this is me being honest, I did not sign up okay. to be who I am. All right. There's no day in my past where I woke up saying, I want to be a preacher. Mm -hmm. I want to be... You know, I mean, we grow up saying we want to be actors, doctors, okay, lawyers. All right. I mean, that's mm. the easiest thing because you're looking at profession. True. Right? You know, you're going to study, you're going to make the money, you're going to, but you don't ever sit down and say, I want to have a calling. You know, I want to be a preacher. I want to be, you know, you don't do those things. Mm, mm, mm. So when you find yourself where you are now, literally, it's you be becoming revealed True. to yourself. 
like it's literally a revealing moment every day you being revealed to yourself bits and pieces of you are being revealed to yourself so yeah to answer you no i i never imagined that this oh. would be me mm. i never imagined that i would go through half of the things that i've went through um I never imagined that I would be sitting here speaking like this. Mm -hmm. And there's still a lot of things that I still do not get and okay. I still don't understand. But I've come to understand that either I go through the process or ju I just elongate it and delay it. Mm. And then that's not going to really benefit me at the end of the day. So just go through the process. Uh okay, I don't know why we're running out of time but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um journal talks. What is that? So journal talks um is sub under beautifully messy. All oh, right, okay. Mm. So journal talks is basically where we hold our conversations. Okay. Right. Cuz beautifully messy on its own is a page and if you saw how I really started it, I I networked and connected with a lot of women mm. to write articles. So it's yes. a platform for you'll find different articles, you'll find yeah. different uh, uh, views on 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 different topics, topics. Mm. but then now general talks comes into where we actually have the conversations. This mm. is where we actually gonna host and say, now we're talking about this. This okay. is our guest. This is our people. This is so that is what general talks is. It's it's really like it says journal. It's mm. a journal of your life. But now we're talking about it. Sure. This is what I've gone through. This is what I have to say to people mm, because mm. I think in this day and age we all need that little ounce yes. of motivation True. to say that you can actually make it through. Mm. You know, so yeah. And actually mean it, hey. Um, so many people are telling us it's all gonna be okay. It's all gonna yeah. be all right. But hey, yeah, <laughs> we don't mean it, right? We're just saying it. Okay. Um, aspiring writer. Mm -hmm. What kind? of a writer mm. would you want to be or are you planning to be in fact is there is do you have any 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 um book title in mind right now beautifully messy is the first oh, one. okay <laughs> all right <laughs> the first one. Mm. i'm just i'm just waiting for the go ahead from the lord be like girl Trust go me. our hair it's coming <laughs> you know? because coming. i i've always been a writer that i i i think you need to understand in your life whether you are permanently in something or you are a seasonal something, Ooh. right? So when you are a seasonal writer, you can write a book in that season and finish it. Mm. But it, and and then there's a permanent writer, someone who's like called to write. This is my gift. This is the, I do mm. this, mm. you know. And they are constantly. And you cannot. I can't compete with someone like that because yeah. that's that's what they called for but when you're a seasonal writer you need to be attentive as to do i write now because sometimes the holy spirit will drop a a, 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 a title of something mm. and i'll write the first paragraph and i'll only attend to it three four months down Ooh, the line okay and when i attend to it i'm now flowing I don't know at first when he was giving me. I don't know what it was. I'll be like, oh, this opening is actually. But mm. I can't put anything else. So I've learned not to force myself when it comes to that. What kind of writing will I do? Child. <laughs> I mean, there's so many. So many. There's so many. But it, 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 it's definitely going to be on the more Christian spiritual side. Yes. Oh, we need um, more of those. Hey? Yeah. We and and those. Uh, I don't want to say it's self-help. But more like, what do we call the the books? Abo Abo Sarah Jakesi, Gabo Sol. You know those. You see, I'd buy your book. Those are my favorite types. I don't know why, but those are my favorite types. <laughs> yeah. and, and my favorite currently that I've been reading for the past two years, ever since I got it as a gift, is Women Evolve. Women Evolve by Sarah. By Sarah. Okay. That book is literally what I imagined beautifully messy being. Okay. Um, it's a book where you constantly need to go revert. You can never finish that book. It's a book that you can never finish. I've got the book. I've never read it. I you don't know, know why. Like, so I, it's, I don't it's know. constantly challenging you. And mm. I think when I do write, I do want that. to challenge you to change. Mm. I want you to be challenged to rethink something. Okay. I want you to be challenged to have a different view. Mm. And um, one of the things about me is that I've learned to be open-minded. Hmm. Open-mindedness will help you to understand so many things.
because you need to be that understanding person sure. in order for you to be able to harbor and and nurture any person mm. Mm. you need to have that inside of you so yeah that's 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 where i see my okay. writing all right uh, i hope not in many years to go oh, but no. uh, very soon we are going to have a hard copy of that book Yes. Or uh, just <laughs> saying that, okay, there is a copy somewhere. Somewhere. somewhere in the heart. A, you know, the transcript somewhere in, in the heart. <laughs> in the heart. No, we need to read something. We're not really hot. I mean, heart. only God can do that. Not no, us. No, it's coming. No, we, we need that. We need that. How do you find time? You are a mother of two. You've got yourself. You've got the ministry. You've got your business. You've got... When do you find time? To actually go back to the boys and just chill with them. You make time. Okay. You can't. You, you, All right. We live. You, I think we we need to understand that when something <coughs> is important to you, mm. you make time to to prioritize that mm. into your life. You make time to spend time with God. You make yes. time to spend time with your kids. You make time. You. Um, one thing I learned, Nwai, and I, I, I would really love to share this because it, it opened up my eyes. Okay. Um, many of the times when we pray, we like to, Father, I need a car. God, I need a Good car. Lord. You know, I need to come mm. from home. And, mm. I, mm. and then God is sitting there like, there's a thousand million types of cars. Girl, what, what? car are you talking about? Oh, all right. You know, okay. You need a car, and I know you need a car, but I don't know what car you need. So oh. how about being intentional and, and describe exactly what you... God, try it like this. Father, I need that G-Wagon. Oh, okay. It must okay. be black, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we <laughs> You know, it must be black, God. And you know, it must... And you, by the way, just because I'm asking for that G-Wagon, Lord, I'm going to need a new wardrobe to match that. <laughs> But you know what I'm trying to say then right is we we have learned the intentionality of speaking to God straightforward. And and not hiding and not trying to be traditionally religious about Father God. You know. I, I've learned to open my mouth and say, Lord, this is what I need now. Okay. And this is how I need it, mm. you know. So I think that's now it comes to what you what you're asking, is having to learn to be intentional with your time, and and it needs you to also be intentional in everything that you do. I've learned yeah. the importance of that, that I'm now I'm being intentional about running this. Now I'm being intentional about doing this. There are times where I have to sit my kids down and say, okay, baby listen because my my first one is 10 months so i have to be like listen at church there's gonna be a very busy two months coming up there's events there's this Mm -hmm. there's that Mm -hmm. um you will see mommy okay not as often not as often you know Mm. and um i'll you must tell me what you need what you whatever whatever but you need to communicate okay you need to communicate. So that's how I find my time. Mm. That's literally how I, I have to be intentional about everything that I do. I'm going to double tap on God. I need that G-Wagon. It must be black. <laughs> you know, be intentional about what you're praying. Okay? Yeah. Say what you need. And actually, it does not have to be a car. <laughs> mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be a car. But just say, do you say exactly what you need so that... Uh, because I feel like you don't get a bicycle, you know. Yeah. Because you said you need a, a form of transportation. Mm-hmm. You, just now, you get something that you're like, "What am I gonna do with this exactly. one?" Okay. So be um, be uh, intentional about what you need. And right now, I need a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, we've got literally five minutes to go. Okay. Um. Now defining the neglected societies. Firstly, I know we touched on this the last, last week, week. Uh, but who are, or how are, or how, how do you go into um, those societies? How do you touch them? How do you um, go into their society? Because remember, you are from Santin AOG. Mm-hmm. Now, they are not from Santin AOG. Mm-hmm. How do you cross the bridge? How do you meet? Where is the, where's the meeting point? 
there's 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 that word that says poem. I, I think a lot of people like to quote I'm all things to all men. Mm. They like they like to quote that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first thing that comes into my mind when you're asking that question. But then I also wanna come to the point where when you want a child to eat. Okay. When you want a child to eat something, right? And a mm. Like I don't want it, mom. I, I don't want broccoli. It tastes ugly, mom. Oh, it tastes ugh. <laughs> oh, you know, what's the mm. first thing as a mother you do? You find a substitute to entice the child and reward, right? Okay. And then you like, if you eat this broccoli, mm. that's gonna actually make you grow. You're gonna get the sweet, right? Okay. But now the trick is that you don't hide the sweet. The child mm. must see the sweet, right? Okay. In order for them to know, Guti, there's actually a reward. Nancy, yeah, it's a born. sweet. Mm. So I think sometimes when 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 we 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 come to approach the gospel, we want to always approach it religiously. Okay. And religious, I mean, are are barriers and walls that we are, we as humans have created. Created, yes. In salvation. Mm. in Christianity. Um, and those walls are the very replica of why we have an unchurched society. Sure. Though they are the very reason why we have a neglected society. Mm. Because Umdu looks from the outside over those walls and like, in fact, in and order for side. me to, to go over there, I need to okay. get over this wall. And mm. it's not really appetizing. So now it's a matter of remove the wall. Okay. And show them, Ugoti, this actually is as simple as, as mm. this wall being down. Here's something that you like. Hey, here's hip hop. You love hip hop? Okay. Come, come get hip hop. Child, you know? right. Do you love okay. house music? Mm. Come and get house music. But now what are you saying? You're saying come get it in the house of the Lord. Mm. Because mm. Zonga's gifts, the guys have been given to us individually okay within the kingdom outside of the kingdom it, it's you who chooses how to use utilize mm, your gift mm. what a gift it, it operates without repentance remember sure so it's your choice to utilize your gift according to what you want mm. and how you will use it so now if we have a hip-hop artist in church if we have uh a whatever in church you instantly have the two Ks being like, ah, it's a cool church. You, mm. know? you already have the attention of those of that group. And it's not just them. When we're talking about the neglected society, you know, we're talking about people that have been brutally um, excommunicated from society. Okay. People like your prostitutes. Mm, mm. They're seen as nothing. Sure. What are you going to do? You know, okay. instantly I feel like even if I were to try to change my life, no one is going to approve of mm. my change because they've already excommunicated me from sure. being human. Mm. And and reaching out to that society is you seeing everyone as a human being like mm. you are. And without the, the, the whole prospect of now she's a whatever, now she's it's taking those titles oh. and putting them aside. Sure. And looking at the human. Now, if I'm going to the CEO of SABC, for example, mm, mm. Um, maybe that, that, that guy will go, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, just maybe, mm, mm. I will come to was a, was a preacher and say uh, anything to them about salvation. True. Because they're so scared mm. of this title. Mm. Maybe someone, even our president, mm. maybe someone never went to the president and be like, don't again, Christian. God, tell them about God. Tell them about Christ who died for our sins and mm. lead them to Christ. Mm. No, so it's about those people. When we're talking about the neglected society, we're talking about from that hierarchy all the way to our students. Sure. We're talking about the ones who have been called black sheep. We're talking mm. about mm. the ones who have e titles or oh, they've gone into prison, out of prison. Now they can't be accepted sure. into the community. That is our job to say, we want to reach you. Mm. This gospel is not done until it reaches you. Because whether we like it or not, Nai, God is raising those kind of people to come and step into platforms that mm. we will have to listen to. True. It's True. no longer going to be the ones who 
have been living right the whole time in no god wants the ones that are disqualified by human beings and qualified oh. by him you know that just that just that because I, I don't know how it goes but it, it's a it's a matter of saying um god qualifies the mm-hmm. unqualified mm-hmm. because whatever the earth or uh, whatever earth has given or qualifies you if you're not qualified by god then what's the point what's the point so what you're saying right here sure, sure. <laughs> oh know, my goodness we, we hold mm-hmm. we hold pens I think the most painful thing as Christians, we hold pens mm. and we want to mark. Oh. Tina, we are the principles that oh, give the marks. And I will Utikla City, no. Mm. I want I want I want that one. Exactly that one. And I, I, I kind of imagine when he said, In your weakness I am your strength. Mm. He meant exactly that. That very same person who doesn't see themselves as strong enough to stand, mm. because I will be the one to make them to stand, regardless. That's why I go no zipo, who society will have a lot to say about them mm. and about their past and how they are not worthy of standing in platforms mm. where they can mm-hmm. go and preach the gospel. Because we as humans have qualified people to preach or not preach. To speak about God and not to speak about God. And now when God is raising those people, we like a know-how of, okay, mm. what's yeah. happening? And yet you stand a chance of missing the exact words and the exact message that God has laid in that simple vessel. And this is how I want to end of my week. Okay. <laughs> this is how I want to enter my weekend. Uh, my cup is filled. Okay, I have, remember I said I'm coming to learn. <laughs> I've learned, uh, I've taken notes, mm-hmm. mental notes, and I just want to say what you're doing is speaking to the thousands and thousands yeah. of the um, unchurched uh, communities. But today I want to say that whoever is listening right here, and uh, maybe they are part of that unchurched community, mm. today they are churched. Yeah. Today they've seen and today they heard that... Uh, this is the ministry that we are and we will. Yeah. This is what we're holding on to. Yeah. True. Thank you so much. Thank Remember you. that uh, God qualifies you, no one else. No one. But God qualifies you. Okay. Uzipa is so many things. Right? <laughs> so many things. And uh, we're seeing you, um, Kali from Sulwana. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, so there is also, uh, Ozipo is a spoken word poet. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this one minute that's left and just give it to you. Firstly, poet. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I've seen, I've understand that you're good at words, mm-hmm. right? Now, poetry. What kind of poetry do you... Okay, a spoken word. I don't know what spoken word is, mm-hmm. right? But now, when it comes to spoken... How often do you perform? I haven't been performing for, uh, for years now. Mm. I was actually saying the other day, but actually I need to go back into my platform. I miss it. Yeah, and it's riding a bicycle, hey? Yeah, yeah. I miss it. I, I, I miss it. Um, I think I've had about a two-year, mm. two to three-year gap in, okay. in, that, in that sphere. But I'm going to be back there. Mm. I'm gonna be back there, but like I said, you always have to be mindful of the seasons. True, sure. mm. because that's a gift and a tool that God has sharpened over the years, and maybe He needed to take a break with it Mm-mm. and sharpen me in another angle, which yeah. He has been doing. So mm. yeah. Mm. All right. Okay. Uh, Ten minutes to two. Twenty fourth of June, twenty twenty two. Give a little bit. I don't know where you are. I don't know. You know, it's really cold. Father, and, hear our prayers. But, but but you know, we've been praying for rain. Yeah. So we can't just say now, okay, the rain should stop because this is what no, we've been praying about. Please, I, I think for this weekend, let it let it not storm, but let it rain mm-hmm. to a point where at least our dams can be, you know, half filled somehow. And we're praying that it rains in those specific areas you because. Know. It, it don't matter as being cold if it's not raining in mm. those specific areas. Yeah, so. intention, hey? I hope, I hope, I hope you, you're hearing this. 
<laughs> intention. Um, Mumga, before I let you go, mm-hmm. right? Normally, I would ask a word of encouragement, but today I'm gonna ask you a piece of one of your poems. Ah, let me encourage them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, this is Uzi Uzi for Uzi Shengunga Banana from uh, beautifully, beautifully messy and uh, and so many more. Yeah, right. So many more. Over so, to you, man. Okay, being on the spot. <laughs> That's what I do. I love it. Being on the spot. Okay, so this piece here is called "I Am a Wounded Man." Okay, <laughs> I saw that somewhere. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces. Like you said, you were asking about oh, beautifully messy the other day. Um, the the first question you asked, mm. and I I think you've noticed. Um, I love play on words. Yeah, words that don't make sense, but you put them together, they just make sense. Mm. So it says, "I am a woman. I am a woman man, a fetus male, and a female male." A man given dominion with you in the beginning over all things, he said, nations, kingdoms, and the entire creation. Before Adam, your ancestor transferred the lie to her that caused this controversial separation, some say. He was there, present your honor, but didn't pose an objection, Mm -hmm. others say. I didn't know it was a lie. I only spoke what I thought I heard out of anxiety. The serpent caused panic. I responded out of desperation. I had to remember it from my state of incubation in between his ribs. I, rib, was ripped out of coexistence into existence only to meet a man unfazed by the practice of repetition. Mm. So I spoke. I spoke boldly of that knowledge transferred to me through communication within he who witnessed creation at first sight. Standing right beside me, his belly overflowed with instruction, yet his gestures ceased to show opposition to my retaliation. I still ask myself, who separated us more? Him, God, or you, Adam? Maybe it was the fetus in the male that caused you to name me Eve, mother of nations. But wait. Didn't he give unto us both dominion over these nations? But now you separated my role before the initial lie took place through autocratic delegation, limiting me to your personal description of the rightful occupation. I presume that's when your ego was birthed when you spoke to secure yourself a seat on the throne of domination, restricting my leadership to being just that of being of the womb. I'm grieved. Grieved by your analysis of my position, Komel, because it has proven to failure along the years. As I now wrestle daily the antagonizing oppression of who's better at what position. Mm. Weren't you meant to lead us, my leader? Or perhaps you lost your plot along the way in between detailed direction and your unavailability to the retaliation of instructions. I receive lack of recognition regarding my capabilities, Until I rise up to a role meant for you, which you have failed in raising your own seeds, only then I become a heroine sought out for validation. Adam, conversations are orchestrated, conspiring against my succession. Councils are held at every level of my progression. Summons are served to scrutinize my rightful accession. And hurdles are placed in our identical paths to distort my elevation was that lie our lie worth all this persecution i alone have become transportation to was it worth all these years of victimization that has led most to depression now we're born as men never women male never female having to fend for our own protection for when our protectors have become our very own perpetrators within the holy walls of salvation raise the seed serve the kings, clean the castles, give him all and be left with none. Suppress your vision, woman, forget your mission until your ignition dies out. Mm. I have felt my share of rejection. Wake up, Adam, for all I did, I did for your affection. Just one second of your attention to explain our domination when God made you head over me. He didn't say it must get to your head. He just Mm. entrusted you with his most prized possession. And so, 
We also trust you to be the soldiers that render our walls protection. You will always have what I do not have, and I will always have what you do not have. But we together will always have those nations. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And uh, there you go. There you have it. I think it's about time you go back into those days. I miss right? that. You know, it's about time. I it's miss about that. time. Yeah. Let me ask this. Do you do you do right? Uh yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this is the midday talk. And I'm gonna say <laughs> that uh, it's been fun. It's been uh, a journey. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. And I uh, hope that everything from here goes up. It, it will. You know? From your mouth. To God's ears. To God's ears. You know? Yeah. 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 And uh, thank you, dear listeners, so, so much for uh, tuning in and uh, understand. I know that it's cold. So where are uh, where us best to be at than Agape FM? And yes, thank you so much for tuning in on our live platform. I understand. I know that uh, she is beautiful. So please uh, <laughs> stay again. And uh, I'm going to see you on uh, Monday, 1 o'clock, once again with another lovely guest. With another story, like I said, the midday talk is always for the story behind the story. I am Abisa, and uh, my guest today is Boezile. We're saying thank you so much for coming through. It's a pleasure. And uh, yes, do not touch the dial because at eight o'clock today we've got the Tvolution Nation, and straight after that is so much more. Please do not touch anything from me. Stay blessed and uh, have a lovely weekend. Um, Ken saying. Yes, he can. And let me just say, he always can and he always yeah. will. So never doubt his power. Okay? Stay blessed. Mm -mm 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 -mm.